that's what I did yesterday. Put that piece in with that piece, that gusset there. Um, battery box. Uh, it's a bit higher than the old one, that's probably why it's sitting where it is. It probably could have went further back. That's it, problem there, I guess. Same with that side. bit of rot in this one so I've made up another gusset to go here as well so what I'm going to do is put some bog in there clamp that on uh, get some bog down in there if I can and then I'm going to leave that oh, it's going to grind it out later um, underneath here I've made these things. So that will seal underneath just like the yeah. eight. Okay. Now I've got my second layer there to go underneath too. Hopefully I can do it upside down. Haven't tried. <coughs> then when that goes off I can fill these gaps here with bog all the way up to the top. So that will be in there solid, glass over the top. Um, in the meantime, that's the same with that side as well, same application, just in there like that, underneath. So I've sanded underneath, it's all ready to go. Um, I'm going to do my bog fitch uh, first. So uh, so that means I can clamp that on, I'll run a real thin line down there, and the rest around there. So I up a small batch. <coughs> and then give that about 10 minutes to go off because what's going to happen is once I bring in the resin and resin these on, it's going to attach to with the wet bog behind it. So it all will um, heal off properly. Now, up the old pieces ready to go. This is in. And this first piece will go kind of like that and halfway up the inside. This piece will overlap that piece as you do. This piece rolls over that piece. So it really encapsulates the timber where there's no timber exposed. And then with leftover resin, I'm just going to hit these, seal these up, ready for the side pockets to come when they arrive. Um, I'm just hoping that battery box. it is what it is so that's what I'm going to do and um, I'll do it rather quickly because it's pretty hot it's meant to be 31 today I'm sweating and uh, it's torn the rip into it so I'll make up this bulk first put that on resin it in there clamp it a little bit there, a little bit around the other side. Done. Then hop out and make up my resin and probably do these ones first. Just all that. And then jump over and then do that one. That one there might have to be another mix altogether. Because it probably would have gone off by then. See so how we go. Everything's pre-cleaned, everything's ready to rock. Uh, probably wondering why I put the 
way. I actually want to drive over there. Maybe it was supposed to go that way. I'll just put it on there wrong. Look at the other one. The other one's on the other side. It's because sometimes the boat leans that way and that's where the water goes. If not, once it's all done and dusted, I can put another hole in there if I need to. Well, you want to inaugurate out of here. Put on a big slot. Well, that's it for now. If I've got any battery left on this um, recording, I'll show you the wet out. Getting underneath to do this stuff is just. So here we go.